bot, the Discord moderation bot. Uh, before we start, uh, let's get into some short introductions of who created it. So, hi, my name is Julia. Uh, I was the front end developer for Yeet as well as the illustrator. So, uh, I created uh, essentially the character that Yeet is attached to. And now I'll pass it on to Tam to introduce himself. Thanks, Julia. My name is Tam. I was the back end developer for Yeetbot. I helped create Yeetbot uh, for Yeet's. I'm sorry. I helped create the backbone for Yeet's functionality and ensured Yeet's working properly at all times. Julia and I are Code Crystal students nearing our final week of the immersive course, and we developed this app in our spare time on the weekends with little knowledge on how to create this app and the web page. So you might be wondering, what is Discord? Well, essentially, it's a voice over IP app with chat and video capabilities. It's similar to programs you might have heard, such as Skype, Slack, or Google Hangouts. Initially, the platform has been geared towards video game players since its initial release in 2015, but has branched out to businesses, education, and a number of sub-communities within Discord. And I'll pass it to Julia to talk about what this bot does. Thank you, Tam. So, Yeet is a simple and easy to use moderation bot for Discord. So, users can add themselves to a role with just a reaction emote, which we'll demonstrate in a moment. Um, moderators have a multitude of commands they can do, such as ban and kick users, as well as log all chats and channels of your choosing, including edited messages, so watch out. And for just like some fun little things you can do, uh, Yeet can do a dice roll command. So if you're into D&D &D or anything like that, Yeet's got you. And last but not least, uh, Yeet can answer questions in a yes or no fashion, a la like an eight ball or something like that. So uh, that'll be really fun. Uh, and now, pass it back to Tam to talk about our persona. Thanks, Julia. And who would be using such a bot? Well, let me introduce you to Lou. He's a young man in his 20s that's working and in his free time is an active user of Discord. He has a small community of followers since he streams on YouTube as well and wants to be better connected personally with his community uh, using Discord. But he doesn't have a lot of time to moderate because he's busy making videos and living his own life. So he asks some of his passionate members to become moderators to keep the peace. Alas, not every moderator he has can be online 24 seven for him. So they need assistance. This is where Yeetbot comes in. And Julia, can you tell us why Yeet? Yeah, so you might be thinking, why Yeet? What kind of a name is that? Well, initially we wanted to name him Yeet with a Y, so that is a word that needs to throw. It can be used as an exclamation while throwing something. For example, Yeet bad members. But we decided to go with Yeet with a J because we're just really fancy like that. Also, Yeet bot was taken, so let's have a moment of silence. And now let's continue. So to the demo, let's meet Yeet. Oop. And so here is the main page for Yeetbot. As you can see, there's like a little uh, blurb here about Yeetbot. Um, you can see his little uh, social media icons. And here, up here in the commands, you can see a list of what Yeet is capable of. Most of the ones are for all users. So you can ping him, you can get an avatar of any user you would like, you can get the user info, server info, um, all sorts of different things. And then down here is the moderator um, commands where it's like mute, kick, and ban, which are pretty important if you're moderating a channel that's really, really big. And if you want to know more just about Yeet himself, he's got some skills such as potions and healing. So he's a wizard. Um, he's got a lot of interests such as practicing his spells and playing with his cat fish and sleeping in the garden as we all like to do. And if you want to know even more, there's a whole bit of lore around his world. So check that out if you have time. And the most important part is you can add him to your server with just a click of a button. So let's go. So here you're taken to a page where you can see Yeetbot connect to Discord. Which server shall we add him to? Well, let's add him to the coding gang. Authorize. Got to make sure I'm not a robot. Yeet's the robot. Boop, boop, boop. And he's been authorized. So let's switch on over to here. And so down here, you can see everyone welcome Yeetbot. So over here, 
Ipa is in the channel. Let's give him a special role so he's right at the top. And you can see Tam is also in here. Uh, in announcements, you can see there is a react. So Tam, please react with something. Would you like to join Sparkly Bird Gang or Chef Bird Gang? Ah, he has chosen the Chef Bird Gang. So it looks like in here, he is in the Chef Bird Gang. There he is. And now let's do a hot J dot listen to see about the chat. So he says he's listening now. Let's go into the messages channel. Hello, looks like Tam is typing. Um, hello, so today, at underscore at, I have a secret. I can't tell anyone. Oh God, oh God. Oh God, let's let's kick Tam before he, he starts something. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> day dot kick. Yeah. Nah, less, he's sneaky. Okay, he's gone. He's gone, he's out of there. Um, hopefully we don't have to worry about him coming back. Oh God, he's back. Oh God. Oh no, oh no, Tam. Oh no, Tam, Tam, get out of here. Now he's been banned. So if you go into server settings and go all the way to the bottom to the bands, you can see Tam is right there. He is no longer allowed to show up in my discord. Aha. And to check out some of the nicer things, let's do a quick J.8 ball. So am I doing a good job? Oh, uh, Yeebot says I'm not doing a good job. So I'm very sorry about that. Uh, let's go back. And that is the end of the demo. And I'm gonna pass it back on to Tam for the technologies used. Well, thank you, Julia. And don't, don't kick me again. I definitely would like to stay in the server. So anyway, uh, the technologies we use for the back end, we had used Discord JS. It's a powerful node uh, JS module that allows us to interact with the Discord API. And we also used uh, JavaScript and Node.js as those technologies are needed to write code using Discord JS and Circle CI for continuous integration to ensure any new updates we add to Yeet that they're working A-OK -okay without ruining our production branch. And Amazon Web Services to keep the bot hosted and active online at all times. Julia, can you share what we did at the front end? Yes, I can. So uh, the, the Yeet bot website was bootstrapped with Gatsby JS and JavaScript as kind of together. And so we were able to create a very pretty web page using that kind of template. Um, we also utilize CSS and HTML to really make the colors look good, kind of arrange things in a proper way. And last but not least, we deployed it over on Netlify, which is a fantastic front end uh, hosting service. Um, and now for Tam for future features, Tam. Yep. Uh and there are a ton of future features we're looking to add in the near future. First of all, we would like whoever is using our bot to easily configure settings on the web browser or on their phone so they can make specific changes where Yeepbot would be listening to recorded messages or what type of emojis you would like to link your role reactions. Secondly, I would like to add some Twitter functionality to Yeepbot. If you want to follow specific people or you have a Twitter account where you're posting relevant updates about anything related to your specific uh, server, Yeepbot can route messages from Twitter over to Discord for you. And lastly, I definitely want to add more commands and event handlers for Yeet to play with. We would like to add some gamified components to Yeet so that people who are interacting on our server, we can give them like achievements if they're an active member of the community, or they can listen to some Spotify music and have a joint listening session with friends. And as you can see here, this is the template we would like to use for you, uh, like to use for the users once they've interacted with our website that you can see there's a command handler and some moderation tooling and we're just looking forward to making it easier for our users to interact with you. Julia, can you tell us what kind of struggles that we had? Yeah, so over on the front end, uh, we had some issues with just 
understanding what was feasible within the time frame that we had and what we could do. Um, we were able to kind of put together something that really worked for both of us. Um, in addition, learning Gatsby JS was a bit of a learning curve. It was new technology for both of us to use, uh, even though we were somewhat familiar with React and, and uh, JavaScript. Um, the social media icons are not cross browser compatible. So both Tam and I are kind of like racking our brains on how to fix that currently. It's a bit of a small issue, but it's an issue nonetheless that we are working to make look fantastic for everybody. And now on to Tam for the back end problems. Yes. And so Yeet needs to be online at all times. You can't have any downtime with him. Otherwise, people just cannot use him. So Amazon Web Services came to the rescue for us. And so thank you, Amazon. And for air handling on the bot, uh, didn't want anyone to just, if you did not have the right permissions to say you're a normal user and you were trying to kick out your friend, but they didn't have access in the beginning to do so, uh, just wanted to make sure that if you do, if you're a moderator, you can't kick someone out, but if you're not a moderator, you cannot kick someone out. So had to do a lot of air, air handling for that. And thanks for hanging uh, hanging in there with us till the end. Uh, you can find us and Yeetbot by scanning the QR codes or visiting the link right there. Uh, hope you get a chance to play with Yeetbot someday and have and also have a wonderful and amazing day. Thanks.